In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can slide anything in your WordPress website using the Elementor page builder. So here inside each of the slide, you can do different design, different structure. Basically, you can put anything inside each of the slide, which you can fully edit by the Elementor builder. Okay, then I will also show you how you can make a full width slider like this, where you can also add different kind of animations when you change your slide. Cool, right? So, without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. So here to create our this flexible slider, we're not gonna using any extra plugin or add-ons. All we're gonna do by using only the Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can also quickly get this from my link on the description. Okay, now inside this page, after this heading, if we want to add a slider, let's search for the carousel widget and here we can see different kind of carousel so for example if we drag the media carousel and here you can see inside each of the slide you can only add images there is not so much option so i want to delete this and again search for carousel and here by using all of this slider we're not gonna get too much customization option with that so what we will do we just drag this testimonial carousel widget and we will make this our custom carousel. So for that, first of all, go to here and I want to delete all of these options, this image, this name, title, and also this content on here. So here, instead of this default content, I want to put a fully custom template inside our slide. So to do that, first of all, let's save this and go back to our WordPress dashboard. Here under templates, go to the save templates and from here we will create a fully new template so let's click on add new and from here let's select it to page and name this template slide one and click on create template now inside that we will create our fully custom template so first of all here go to the page settings and make the page layout to the element of canvas now inside that we can put anything like we can put anything inside an Elementor page. So from here, first of all, let's add a container and inside that we will put our content. So as I want to create a testimonial carousel, so I need an image, also an heading widget and then an text editor. Okay, let's upload this image from here. Okay, but it looks too big. We need to reduce its size. So here on our final result, you can see for each of our slide, this width is something like 250 pixel. So we will also make the width 250 pixel for our this container. So make it to full width and give it to pixel 250. And then let's design our inside content. So first of all, for this image, let's give its width to 100% and also give the height to 350 pixel. Also make the object fit to cover to adjust the image perfectly. So from here, let's give some border radius. After that, for this heading, I want to give her name here, also her designation. Now let's quickly design this. So for this heading, make its alignment to the center and also make its color to fully white. Okay, but we cannot see that. So again, go to this container settings and I want to give it a background color. Also, give the border radius for this container, 15 pixel. Okay, then let's go back to here and I want to just adjust its typography. Also for this paragraph, adjust the design. And lastly, reduce the spacing between them. Okay, perfect. Now before doing anything, I want to check its responsiveness for our tablet and the mobile devices. So for tablet, it looks okay. And on the mobile, I think we need to reduce its width. So go to the container again and make its width 250 pixel. Okay, now save this. Now to add this slide inside our this page, here we need to go to our dashboard from here. Go to templates again. Here is the template slide one we have just created. And on the right side, you can see Elementor gives us some shortcut for each of our templates. So for this template, here is our shortcut. 
So we just need to copy this and go back to our this page and go to this content. If we paste this, we can see nothing. But if we save our this page and go to our this actual preview, we can see this template is added inside here. Now let's go back to here and I want to delete our this remaining slides. Just duplicate this first slide five more times. Inside the other slide, I will also put the short code for the different templates. But before that, here I want to make some adjustment. So first of all, I don't want this alignment. So remove this and make the slides per view to four. Also, I don't want this autoplay. So turn off this. So now on the actual preview, you can see it like that. This slide looks so shrinked because of the padding on the left and right. So we need to also remove that from this padding option. And also we can adjust the space between them, make it to 30 pixel. From the content, you can also find some other option like the gap on the bottom, make it to 10. And by default, you can see this text on here are italic. So this is the default style of the testimonial carousel widget. So I want to get rid of this, make it to normal. And lastly, I want to improve the arrow on the left and right side. But here on the Elementor, we don't have too much option for that. So we will do that by using this custom CSS code. Let's paste this code and you can see these arrows on the left and right. But we also need to add a color for these arrows. So go to this navigation settings and make its color to fully black and also increase the size 22 pixel. Okay, now the design looks perfect. We also need to check it on the tablet and the mobile devices. So on tablet here, I want to make the slides per view only three. And on the mobile device here, I want to show only one slide. So make it to one. And also I don't need any gap between them. Make it to zero. Okay, now from our preview, we can see it looks perfect from all of our these devices. So all we need to do is creating some different content for our these other slides. So for this, again, go back to our these templates. And from here, I want to create a new template for our slide two. So do the same process make it to page, name this to slide 2, click on create template. And don't worry, we don't have to create it from scratch. We just need to go to this template option and go to my templates. And here if we sort by date, here we can see our this latest slide we have just created. So I want to insert this inside this template and we can see that. So from here, we just need to replace our that content. So for example, if I change this image to this one, and we can also change the other things like this heading, this paragraph here. And for this image, I want to use a red background color for this container. So from here, let's change this color to red. Let's save this. And by using the same process, let's also quickly create our other templates. All right. So we can see we have created all of our D6 slides. So now go back to our page and here for our this second slide, I want to add our this second template. So let's copy this short code and paste it to here. For the third one, I want to add the short code for the third template and so on. Okay, we have quickly pasted all of the short codes. Now if you go to our this page, we can see different templates for our these different slides and it also looks really very perfect. Okay, then here we will also create our this full width slider with this beautiful entrance animation. So inside this slider, basically we can put anything as we want. We can put different content, different structure, different animation, all of these things. So for this slider, here I have already created three templates for our these three slides. So we just need to go back to our this page. And here at the bottom, we will add our this full width slider. So for this here, add a new container and first of all, make it to the full width. And by default, we have some padding for this container. Let's also remove this, make it to zero. And inside that, we will again add our that testimonial carousel widget, drag this to here. And we will do the same thing. So for our first one, let's delete all of this content. Delete the remaining and duplicate it multiple times and also adjust the other thing like the alignment 
and the autoplay to off and here for our this full slider we don't need dots so i make it to none from the style here i also don't keep this space between so as it will be a full slider we don't need any gap between them okay make the padding to zero also remove the gap at the bottom make it to zero and to get it of the default italic text make the font style to the normal okay now from our this content tab here we will put our this shortcode for these templates so for the slide number one copy this and paste it and let's do it quickly okay now we can see these templates are successfully added to each of the slide but here we need to fix the left and right spacing so we can do that by using the custom css let's again go to its custom css and paste this code so here you don't need to worry about any of this code snippet i will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code okay so with our this slider fixes you can see here i have also added the code snippet for our this customized arrow so for this one let's also add the icon color to the black and increase the size to 30 pixel okay now we can see it perfectly okay now i want to show you one another thing so if you want to check the responsiveness of it from the other devices we can see even we make it responsive but we can see some broken things like that so when we are working with our templates like that so this can be sometimes happens during your work so to get rid of this after finishing all of your work with this page and this template you need to just go to this dashboard and under elementors go to tools and from here just click on this button okay now if we refresh this page and see it from the mobile you can see now it's perfectly showing okay then i will also show you one another thing so if you go to here and after our this slider if we add any other content like this heading widget so if we save this and if we see it from our preview you can see it looks perfect for our desktop because on the desktop we have the same height for all of our templates but when you go to our these mobile devices here you can see this template has a different height than our this other template so that's why here we can see some gap between our this next content so if you want to get rid of this unexpected gap you just need to go to this edit page again and here we need to add some class with our this full width testimonial carousel so add the class full width slider also give it a higher z index 100 and then we need to add some custom javascript code so for this here let's search for the html widget and drag this after this carousel okay and here we can see some gaps between here so we also make the gap to zero from our this container option okay now finally inside this html widget we need to paste this code snippet so now if we again check it we can see our problem has been solved so finally i want to add some entrance animation inside the element of this slider so let's again go to the templates of our dashboard and for our this first slide let's go to edit with elementor here we can see this content on the left and we have also added an image which we have also rotated by using this rotate option okay now for example i want to add an fade in animation with this heading so go to this motion effect and from here let's choose an animation fade in make the animation speed to slow and also make some delay like 200 millisecond then for our this heading i want to add the same effect so make it to fade in also make it to slow but i want to add some more animation delay for that 400 so basically for our this left content i want to keep a little gap between this entrance animation so it looks like the animation comes from the top to the bottom content okay let's go to the third one and for this one i want to do a little bit different fade in up make it to 600 and finally for this button make it to fade in up and furthermore 800 and for our this right content i want to put something different so i want to choose this roll in animation and make the delay furthermore 1000 millisecond which means one second 
okay let's save this and from our preview we can see this beautiful animation all together now let's go back to our template and for our the second one i want to add this same kind of animation with these elements okay we have added the animation for our second slide now let's go to the third one with this one i want to add a little bit different animation so first with our this middle image i want to add the animation this one this shaking animation make the delay to 200 millisecond and for our this left and right bottle i want to make some entrance animation so it feels like it comes from behind our this middle can okay so for this one i want to add the animation fade in right make it too slow and make the delay to 400 for this one i want to do the same thing but instead of fade in right make it to fade in left make it too slow and also make it to 400 and lastly for the top and the bottom content i also want to make some fading up and fading bottom animation let's go to here make it to fading up slow and 600 and lastly for this button make it to the opposite fading down slow 600 okay now from the preview we can see it all together makes a really cool animation now let's close all of these templates and if we go to our this main page okay we can see this cool entrance animation and when we also change our this slide we can see this animation is working really perfect and here one thing i want to mention that in elementor normally this entrance animation only triggers when you first come to that section but if you go to that same section again this section is normally not animating again so to solve this problem, here you can see I have also write some code to make this animation multiple times. So basically here when we change our this slide, each time this slide now will be happening. No matter you come to that section first time, second or third time, it will be working for all of the time. Okay? So that's all about today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.